Microsoft's Windows OS isn't any one thing, it's an interwoven patchwork of features built atop other features that trace all the way back to the beginning of the time-tested operating system. Each individual feature is, in turn, the result of a team of dedicated engineers who create the best experience possible. With such a complex piece of software it makes sense that there are little tricks and UI flourishes most people don't even know about. We've compiled a list of useful tips that will help you get more out of your Microsoft Windows 10 experience. Or at least teach you some things you may not have known about. We have plenty of dedicated Windows fans who likely know at least some of these features but you probably don't know them all. So, let's get started. Secret Start Menu If you right-click on the Windows icon in the bottom left corner, it will prompt a textual jump menu with a number of familiar popular destinations, apps and features. Search, Run. All these options are available through the standard menu interface but you'll be able to access them quicker through this textual interface. Show Desktop Button This desktop button actually dates back to Windows 7, but is handy nonetheless. On the bottom right corner of the desktop is a secret button. Look all the way to the bottom and right, beyond the date and time. There you'll find a small little sliver of an invisible button. Click it to minimize all your open windows. There's also the option to have windows minimize when you hover over this button versus clicking. Select your preference in Settings, Personalization, Taskbar, Use Peep to preview the desktop. Shake. This feature actually debuted in Windows 7, but I've found a lot of people don't know about it or use it, but they should at school. If you have a display full of windows, clear the clutter by grabbing the top of the window you do like and shaking it to minimize all the other windows. Suddenly having shaker's remorse. Shake again and the windows will come back. Enable slide to shut down. This trick is complicated and probably not worth the effort for what you get out of it, but here you go. Right click on the desktop. New shortcut. In the ensuing pop-up window, paste the following line of code. Code is in description. This creates a clickable icon on your desktop which you can feel free to rename. To shut down via slide down, double click on the new icon to prompt a pull down shade. Then use your mouse to drag it down to the bottom of the screen. Keep in mind this isn't sleep, this is a shutdown. Enable God Mode. Are you a power user who wants access to your PC's nitty gritty? God mode is for you. Right click on the desktop new folder. Rename the new folder with this bit of code. To enter the God mode window, double click the folder. Right click on tiles. Want to personalize those tiles quick. Just right click on them to prompt a pop-up menu. 
This menu will give you various options like the ability to unpin from the start menu, resize the windows, or turn that live tile off. Right click on the taskbar. Here's a handy menu that will allow you to quickly access a number of presets for the toolbars, Cortana, and window schemes. There's a lot there, and it's just a click away. Drag to pin windows. This feature was available as far back as Windows 7, but has some extras in Windows 10. Grab any window and drag it to the side where it will fit to half the screen. In Windows 10, you have the option of dragging the window to any corner to have the window take over a quarter of the screen instead of half. If you're using multiple screens, drag to a border corner and wait for a prompt signal to let you know if the window will open in that corner. You can prompt similar behavior by using the Windows key plus any of the directional arrow buttons. Quickly jump between virtual desktops. Do you like to multitask on your PC? In Windows 10, Microsoft finally provided out-of-the-box access to virtual desktops. So now you can really multitask. To try it out, click on Task View, the icon to the right of the Windows menu. This will separate all your open windows and app center icons. You can then drag any of them over to where it says New Desktop which creates a new virtual desktop. This would allow you to, say, separate your work apps, personal apps, and social media into different desktops. Once you click out of task view, you can toggle between virtual desktops by pressing the Windows button plus Ctrl plus right left arrows. This will allow you to automatically switch between all the open windows which you've separated into different desktops while leaving all the icons on your desktop unmoved. To remove the virtual desktops, just go back into Task View and delete the individual virtual desktops. This will not close out the apps contained within that desktop. But rather, just send them to the next loud desktop. Silence notifications with Focus Assist. Formerly known as Quiet Hours, Focus Assist is a redesigned April 2018 update feature that gives you greater control over the notifications that pop up on your PC. Head to Settings, System, Focus Assist and then read a full how-to guide for customizing notifications for everything from contacts and apps to task-specific alarms. Nearby sharing. In an open document or photo, you can now share the file directly with nearby devices the same way Apple's AirDrop works. Click the share icon atop your dock or photo toolbar to open the panel, and then click turn on nearby sharing to see which nearby recipients are in range. Hidden Game Bar. Using the Windows key G command, you can pull up the new and improved game bar. This lets you switch your Windows PC into gaming mode, which pulls system resources to the game and turns off notifications and lets you record and broadcast your gaming. Along with added panels for controlling your audio. 
You can also search for the game bar in the start menu to configure custom keyboard shortcuts for turning your microphone, screen capture, recording timer, and more on and off while gaming. If you have found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more such interesting tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.